Today we're going to be talking about this streamer who literally bullied his wife live on stream and you know why? Because of Apex Legends. So this whole story started when a clip of this streamer went viral over on Twitter of him pretty much bullying his wife that he was playing ranked Apex with. And this clip is honestly this clip is honestly really hard to watch for me. It just it makes me upset and it makes me angry and I feel really bad for his wife. We're going to let the clip play in its entirety and then we're going to talk about the situation afterwards. What were you doing outside? Were you looting? Zuka, it doesn't take that long! So you were looting! But there's enemies inside that they were fighting! Why are you allowing them to loot? You just, you keep doing this shit over and over! You keep just allowing people to loot and get shit off! Like, I don't get it! I get if you need an armor swap, get an armor swap. But you're in there, like, taking your time. Like, did you forget that they were fighting another enemy? I did not. Luca, who were they fighting then? Luca, who were they fighting? I thought we, that was the last team. Luca, why are you sitting there thinking did that? You stop talking to the other guy? No, Suka. No. Why? Suka, no, no, no. Right there, and so this is just absolutely weirdo behavior this is insane apex legends behavior only 18 percent of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel don't be part of the 81 percent subscribe to the channel you have nothing to lose let's just be honest fella it's more than okay to get upset over video games i've done it myself you know you lose your cool over something silly in a video game that honestly doesn't really matter but this is not losing your cool this is literally him bullying his wife on stream and it's embarrassing to watch i feel bad for the wife and i've this guy's embarrassing himself live to i don't know if it was hundreds or thousands of people i'm not sure uh what the streamer's relevancy is but it started going viral over on twitter i got like hundreds of thousands if not millions of views and they were all calling him a shitty guy and instead of a this guy deciding to have a good apology you know say hey i'm sorry how I treated my wife especially because this is not the only time that this has happened there have been multiple situations in the past where this guy is absolutely treating his wife like crap live on stream there is even a clip posted a couple days ago where I saw the same guy was making fun of his wife's accent which is kind of just weird I mean they're in a they're in a biracial relationship and he's making fun of her accent which I mean I don't know and it wasn't in just like a funny way it was in more like of a mean and sadistic way like he was actively trying to make fun of how he how she sounded because she was saying something quote unquote he thought was dumb and it wasn't in like a light-hearted fun sense i mean if i can find the clip i'll put it in but it was just really awkward to watch and instead of this guy deciding to you know come out and apologize and say hey this this was absolutely inexcusable behavior i should not be treating my wife like this especially because if you're playing with your significant other or your partner and you're playing video games together i mean it's a great thing to do there's plenty of video games that are catered specifically for couples to play that aren't you know competitive ranked apex and i mean that's the thing if this guy wanted a relaxing time to play with his partner you can play like oh it takes two or something i heard a lot of couples like that guy like me wouldn't know though no girlfriend but i mean you're playing a ranked mode and you know this is obviously not fun for anyone involved not their teammate not the guy playing that's getting deranked i mean he lost uh nine elo points because his you know during the match because his wife was taking too much time to loot or something like that and nine elo is nothing in apex i i looked and i checked their rank and they're only in gold division i mean that's like middle of the road for apex ranked 
and you know what even if he was in like diamond or platinum i still don't think this would have been acceptable behavior but if you're trying to rank up in ranked and you know your wife's maybe not on the same gaming level as you then how about you just play a different game or you know play with people who you think are similarly played for you instead he decided to willingly play ranked with his wife and it was when his wife isn't a super ranked alpha gamer or an apex legend he absolutely bullies her live on stream to hundreds of people it's absolutely inexcusable and the way this guy replies is just it's insane i'm going to play the clip where he replies to his chat absolutely flaming at him for being despicable to his wife <laughs> i'm not treating my significant other like that i treat my wife amazing thank you very much all right you want to know more about my wife and the country she's from and the way how she knows how women are actually treated compared to you know the free worlds of you know the western society why don't you go over to her channel and fucking ask her <laughs> like seriously i think you all need a big reality check man and right there i'm gonna just prove a point on how fucking stupid chat can be right now so to sit there and say, hey, man, does anybody want anybody to die, period, right? You would answer, well, no, I don't want anybody to die, right? You don't want anyone to die. Of course you don't, right? So if you don't want anyone to die, does that mean you're pro-life? So yeah, this guy pretty much doubles down. Let's take his response part by part. He pretty much starts off by saying that she would be treated in worse countries. Okay, that might be true, but buddy, you're not in other countries. You're in wherever you are. I think probably the United States, if I had to guess. You're in America. And so you should treat your girl like an American girl, you know what I mean? Like, you should not be using her treatment in other countries as an excuse to treat your wife like crap in your country. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Yeah, it might be true that women get treated in other places worse, you know, the misogynistic views of places that aren't so Western, like you know america but this guy replies by saying you know it's he justifies his terrible treatment of his wife because well at least she gets to live in my house and play video games with me well you know what bro you're making your wife miserable that's how i would feel honestly if my partner talked to me like this while i was playing video games with them i would have my feelings hurt i mean this is not the way you should be talking this is not light-hearted joking i mean there's plenty of ways that couples have light-hearted back and forth and and they don't hurt each other's feelings and this is just this is not an example of it and then he says something about like pro-life or if you care if people are alive it's like dude what are you saying this has nothing to do he's just talking out of his ass it's like his brain isn't working and maybe that's why he treats his wife so poorly because his brain is just flipping between different points and he's making no sense at all it's just really unfortunate to see a clip like this surface on the internet we've seen this in the past where a couple streamers live stream themselves literally treating their significant others like crap because of a video game and it just it really bugs me i gotta be honest this bugs the hell out of me because as much as I've gone upset with video games in the past, 100%, and maybe I've said something that I shouldn't have to a friend or a family member, it has been nothing, not even close to this. This is nothing compared to me maybe being a little upset. This guy is insane for saying this, and it should not be how you're treating a significant other or a partner in your video while you're playing video games. This is just, this story is crazy, and it really bugs me to see this guy double down yesterday we made a video talking about the truth about nadia situation that happened between the cod professional content creator doug sensor and nadia the upcoming call of duty content creator we're pretty much face sensor was saying that he had proof against nadia and it turned out to be literally one of the most corniest trolls i've seen on the internet to date this is a video you're not going to want to miss click here to watch it now